Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to talk about the difference between these two stands. Uh, these are both lone wolf uh, tree stands, and there is some differences. We have here, this one that you see here, well, uh, is the, um, the what do they call this, the Alpha stand, uh, lone wolf Alpha. And then this one is the lone wolf Assault 2. And there are some differences between them that we're going to talk about. Both of them are phenomenal tree stands. Uh, you cannot go wrong with either one of these. My preference for my style of hunting and what I do happens to be for the assault. Uh, but if you're a bigger guy or you just want some more room and stuff, this is a great one. There are some differences, some pros and cons to both of them. So we're going to take a minute. We're going to cover that and break it down. At the end of this video... I will have a link in the description or in the video. I'll put a, actually right there at the end of this, you'll see a video on this one uh, that shows it in detail. But what else that video shows is it shows the benefits of both of these, how they go on a tree, the advantage to the bat wings, the offsets, all that kind of stuff. So there's a very detailed, in-depth video on this particular stand that will be linked at the end of this. So you'll see it right there. I'll make it real easy to find. So it's worth watching. Uh, this video here, I'm gonna highlight the differences so you understand, but the way they both work, exactly the same. So that video will be key to watch so you understand the benefits of these stands. Now, with, uh, again, a size difference here, as you can see, there's a, there's a four inch platform height difference here. This is 30 inches from top to bottom. This is 26 inches from top to bottom. So you can see that there is, that the, the uh, Alpha, this one, does give you a little more height advantage or a little more length a little more room on a platform. The key thing here to notice is the difference here. This shape here, this how it's nice and narrow here versus how wide this is. And I'll put them side by side so you can see them, but they're both at the very widest 19 and a half inches wide. So they got the same thing there, but see this taper in here is tremendous. That's a major asset, which I'll show you why here in a minute. But if you were to put these back to back so that you can actually see the differences here. Uh, if I were to take these and set them up and put them side to side like that, you can see all of this extra room here that you have that's on here. Uh, now that's good and bad. Now you don't really use much of this space on here. So it's kind of, in my opinion, a little bit wasted space on there that I like better being gone in the assault model, but it, it may give you some benefit. Now this does cause some issues carrying this through the woods. Maybe for, not for everybody, depends on where you hunt, but for me in the swamps and the tag elders and the thick stuff and the dogwood and the stuff I'm going through, this extra space on here becomes an issue for me. It gets, it snags, which I'll show you, but that is a difference. So you can see the actual size difference between these two stands uh, so that it makes sense on here. I'll actually spin them around once this way too. So you can see them like this. If I line them up center to center, uh, so you can see the differences that shines through on there. So um, there, there's quite a bit of size difference in that actual stand platform. Again, both of them absolutely phenomenal. Um, I used them both quite a bit. This one here now I pretty much just say for my wife and my daughter uses these this particular style. I have two of these. I have two of these. Um, I, I use these, the assaults, a lot more myself because it does give me enough room and, and work out pretty well. But, the, like I said, the key difference is that extra width on there and you get a little more length. If you wear a size 12 shoe or 13 shoe or something like that, this might be nice for you to give you that extra space on a platform. This one can seem a little cramped up there once in a while if you're a bigger guy. I've heard that. I, I, I wear a size uh, 10 and a half shoe and um, you know I've never had a problem on here and it's been perfect. But I have heard that people say that they like this one for the comfort factor. Weight wise, there is only a three pound difference. You're going from 11 pounds to 14 pounds. There's a lot of stands out there that are lighter. Now, there's a ton of stands out there that are heavier. Um, don't let that weight of being 11 pounds uh, fool you, or even this one being 14 pounds fool you. The super thin design of this platform here, same with this one, that super, super thin lay down design of that makes this ride very tight on your back and you don't feel any of the weight. Where if you have a uh, welded aluminum platform and then you got a bigger stand, it may be twice as wide 
or even that thick and then that puts that weight out there further and you feel it a lot more so even being 14 pounds which is not heavy by any means that's a, still an ultra light stand but being 14 pounds for the size you get it carries incredibly well because of that super compact design and against your back same with this one at 11 pounds this 11 pound stand for me carry you you feel less weight carrying this 11 pound than you do some of the nine pound stands that are out there because of that uh, super thin uh, design to it as far as hanging them on a tree the only difference is with that longer platform you do feel it a titch more so when you take this stand um, and you go to hang on let me pop that out of there um, when you take this stand and you go to hang it on a tree what you're going to do when you put it on that tree is you're going to take the tree you are going to set the stand against the tree and hold it there like this then you're going to fling which my strap is caught in there but uh you are then going to swing the strap around the tree. Well, while you hold this against the tree to get it there, that extra length on there and that more weight, that little more weight, you feel it. It's a little more complicated, uh, not not harder, but you just, you feel it more. It's got a little more weight and a little more uh, length out there for you. So when you go to throw this against a tree and hold that on there, this one's a heck of a lot easier to put and take and set right against that tree and then wrap your strap around versus trying to do the same thing with this one again just due to the sheer size you can see how hard that is to even hold that straight up level against that tree where this one here cakewalk easy can do it all day long just because again we're talking about I, uh, um, you know less platform length and a little lighter weight but you cannot go wrong with either of them but you can see that if you're a, if you're a bigger guy this one here may end up being an advantage to you i'm going to put it this way for both of them so you can see these platforms like that once without them but you can see right there next to each other you can see the actual um you know the shape and style and what's what to them but you can see you got extra room on this one mainly back here which is not where your feet are usually at up here where your feet are you can see you still got that same width so to me, I don't, I don't see that as a, as a tremendous advantage with it. Now, as far as the downside to it, which comes in the form of when you're carrying it, which we will set up right now. Let me actually close this up real fast here, just so it's wrapped and set. And that way I can put it together for you. You also, you hear how you hear this buckle clanking around? You hear that? You've been hearing it as I'm doing this? On the other one, you're gonna notice that I have a yak grip on there. That yak grip makes a heck of a difference in keeping all this stuff nice and quiet. It's uh, uh, it's kind of my preferred buckle cover. But there's that sealed up. Um, let me seal this one up. Now this one, you'll hear none of that buckle. Buckle won't make a sound. Why? Because it has that yak grip on the end of it, which means that I can bang this buckle into anything I want to and no noise. Okay, it can hit anything I want. It doesn't make any noise because of that yak grip that's on there. But, so we're gonna lock this one up. That way I can show you both these on my back. And you can see what I'm talking about as far as carrying. Now, with, oh, of course I put the backpack strap in there. That's the story of my life right there. Always a day late, dollar short, screwing something up. There we go. So let that on there, put that that way. Now, when I put this on my back, and I turn around here, you can actually facing you, you can see that there is right here fits behind my head and there is nothing really sticking out from my body. This does not stick out. So my profile as I walk through the woods is going to match this. If I can fit through it, then the stand is gonna fit through it. And you can see how thin and small that profile is on my back and how well that works. That's an advantage as well too. So when I gotta twist and wiggle through brush, I'm not snagging the stand on anything. It's just sweet, simple, perfect, and out of the way, and it fits behind my body real well. That's one of the key things, a major advantage to the Assault model. Now the Alpha, if you're not hunting, uh, you know, dense, thick, super thick uh, swamps and things like that, then this one's nice because it gives you a lot of room. Or if you're willing to go through the hassle to do that kind of stuff with it because you, you want to use this bigger stand, it's worth it. This is by far the best big big size platform tree stand that you can get today in my opinion this one here is by far the best uh, tree stand that you can get today period hands down this one if you is the same thing if you just like something a little bigger than this but this one 
the best it's ever been designed. There's copies out there, there's clones out there. Uh, I know a few years ago that Lone Wolf let go of the patent on the Versa button so other people can actually use that and benefit from it or whatever they did with that, but now you see other people making the same concept. Uh, the the original design, this Lone Wolf with the bat wing, the Versa button, you just, you, you cannot beat these tree stands. Um, but this one here, when I put this on my back, you will see that the difference here so when I put that, if I put that about the same height, I got these a little longer, but if I put that where it's about the same height, you can see how much wider that this sticks out from me versus what that one does, and that creates that difference. There's that chance for that snag. All that, you can see this sticking right out over my shoulder here, right out over my shoulder there. So as I'm walking through the, the swamps with this, I'm constantly, as I walk forward, I'm oh, snagging, and I got to back up and twist. Then I walk forward, oh, snagging, and I got to back up and twist because I'm catching things on all of this stuff that's sticking out here. That being the major, that was one of the major factors that made me go to this one. You know, to the smaller one. I can handle the extra weight, not a problem. It wasn't much. Like I said, you're talking three pounds. I did like the bigger size. It gave me more room. This factor right here, this snag factor, was the number one factor that made me go to, to that one. Again, if you're not hunting places like that that are super thick, nasty, and miserable, uh, you're hunting your own property and you've been able to clear things out and get stuff done, this stand may be the one you want because it does have the room, it does give you a little more space up there, and there's some benefits to that. Uh, and the weight is, like I said, negligible. You can almost not even notice the difference. So the choice there is completely up to you which one you like best. But for me, I like that assault one. If I turn completely around, you can see, again, if I put that kind of where I carry the other one, you can see that that print on my body how that is versus this one set on my body here so if i put this one on and do the same exact thing you can see the difference in what space you have available to snag on stuff and what's going to give you a hard time so uh choice is yours you cannot go wrong with either one and again there's a video that's going to be showing on one of these corners here you're going to see it any second it's going to pop up that's going to show you the details of this one but that will also show you exactly how both of these stands mount on a tree how they adjust the flexibility the benefits you get from them you're going to see all that so it doesn't matter which route you go with the big alpha or you go with the smaller Assault 2, doesn't make a difference. Both of them are going to be the best stands you have ever owned hands down. I know there's a lot of clones out there, a lot of them making, sim making stands similar. None of them will fold down as compact and small as what this does. None of them will have this exact V angle that you have in the back of these stands that are on here. None of them will have this exact bat wing on there. None of them will have the same things. They're, they're similar, but for somebody who hangs a tree stand, every time I go up and down a tree, I'm telling you similar is not good enough. Um, they're not bad. I'm not knocking. There's a lot of good stands out there. In my opinion, these are by far the two best stands that you could possibly have. And depending on what you want size-wise, Lone Wolf has you covered for the Assault, which is the ultimate run-and-gun mobile hunting, which is what I do try and kind of stand. And then they have the Alpha, which is a bigger one for bigger people or somebody that may have a, you know may not be real comfortable up there or wants a little more space and uh, real estate to be able to work with. This one gives you those options. Both of them in their category, you cannot beat them. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. And like I said, check out that video that I did on this one, which will show you how to put them on a tree and everything. That video should be popping up any second. We'll talk to you later. Bye.